Ah. G'day everyone, Mark Hunt here, your resident expert on the Aussie culture. And today we're going to be going over 18 Australian slang words and their meanings. To start things off, we have Drongo. What you call someone who travels here without doing a little study or watching one of these videos first. Drongo is basically another name for idiot. Then we have Fair Go, basically the polite Australian way of saying fuck me. Stubber toe? Fair Go. Didn't get paid properly? There you go! Then we arrive at dickhead. Not to be confused with dickhead. Dickhead is a way of making the term dickhead slightly more serious. If, for example, while you're driving and someone pulls out in front of you, you don't say dickhead, you go, Oi! Dickhead! Like that. Far out, it's just another polite way of saying fuck. Huru simply means goodbye. I'm Australian and I say it, so don't say no one does. G'day, it's more than just an Aussie cliche, people actually do agree with it. Like I do. I'm Aussie. A servo is a service, or gas station for you Yanks, where you go fuel up your landy, or buy some overpriced beef jerky. And a horn is not the male erection, it is a mobile. If someone says get on the horn, they aren't asking for sex unless they say get on the horn. They're asking you to use some form of communication device like a mobile phone or a radio. That's what a horn is. Unless they're pointing to their penis. True blue affair dinkum. It's a real deal. The duck's nuts. In other words, it's 100% true. A barbie is not a doll. It's a barbecue. Like the one that we fry shrimp on, apparently, according to you, Yanks. A biff is a fight, generally on gentlemen's terms. A tiff is different, but we'll cover that one later. Mungin can either mean eating food or wanting to eat a particular sort of food. For example, right now I'm mungin for a $7 palmy in a pot down at the pub. If something goes shit-shaped, it means it's gone wrong. For example, if the way waitress is bringing over me $7 palmy and drops it and the plate smashes, she might say that situation's gone shit-shaped and so would I. Two balls in a sack is the Aussie way of saying like two peas in a pod. It's basically when you're so close with one of your mates you may as well just be two testicles and well, a sack. Hard yak is more than just a clothing brand, it's an actual term for hard work, which is how most of us Aussies make our living. A piss up is a party involving alcohol, generally hosted in someone's backyard out in whoop whoop and it's got a kiddie pool and a slab of piss or alcohol. What what means in the middle of nowhere away from any point of reference so far into the fact that you have absolutely no idea where you are highlighted on this map in red and going walkabout means just taking time to go walking generally aimlessly or to clear your head or just to pass time and usually it's done in the bush. So there's 18 Aussie slang terms you'll most definitely hear while you're in Australia and I guarantee that well, my name's not Mark Hunt, Aussie expert. Hooroo.